In this section of the course, we will be looking at Flexbox and Grid. Flexbox and Grid are two CSS layout models that can be used to create complex web application layouts just with a couple of CSS rules. There are a lot of similarities between Flexbox and Grid, starting with the fact that they are used for layout and much more powerful than any layout technique that came before them. They can stretch and shrink. They can center things. They can reorder things. They can align things. There are plenty of layout situations in which you could use either one to do what we need to do, and plenty of situations where one is more suited over the other. We will be getting into working with both of these great layout techniques, but here's a quick overview of each one. The key feature of the Flexbox model is that it adjusts the layout of your web page automatically based on the size of your content. If one of your items has a bigger size, then the entire layout would flex to accommodate the different sizes of the child elements. The flexibility of the Flexbox model allows you to distribute unused space between elements that are vertically or horizontally aligned. The CSS Grid layout allows you to create two-dimensional layout models that is made of both rows and columns. It allows you to create a much more rigid layout for your web page that doesn't change based on the content size. With the grid, you have the ability to control the placement of items in a two-dimensional layout. This helps you to precisely define how your web page should look. The main difference between Flexbox and Grid layout is that Flexbox creates content-first design, while Grid creates layout-first design. The Flex model looks at your content and then tries to adjust the layout to better fit the whole content on the screen, while the Grid model provides a more strict control over the layout and ignores the size of the content. Sometimes you'll need Flexbox, and sometimes you'll need Grid, and sometimes you need both. I like to think of Flexbox and Grid layout as complementary technologies. In the upcoming sections of our course, we will be looking at each module independently, and then we'll be looking at how we can use them together. I think you're going to really enjoy learning about Flexbox and Grid, since it opens up a whole new wide range of layout in regards to building websites.